All right, this is the title poem of the book, Canvas. I stretch myself over the frame, pulled taut to smooth skin's creases, my canvas set, awaiting your first stroke. You lay out the brushes with care, bristles clean and dry. The first brush, its head cut sharp to detail the subtle wrinkles around my eyes. The second wide to fill my laughing smile. The third rough to capture a storm swelling behind me over the sea. And one more, a piercing point to drop a tear that belies my melancholy. Stepping back, you scan me before preparing your palette. What shade of Caucasian to choose for my sun-aged skin? How much gray will you need to sneak silver threads into my thick brown hair? How should you dress me? What textures will you drape? Am I alone on a trail or seething in a concert crowd? How will you capture the chaotic cacophony swirling in my mind with only strokes of oil? And how can you reflect everything I've seen into the detail of my eyes? And are they wide open, alert, unable to find sleep or quivering and fighting exhaustion? Or are they shut tight and twitching in REM triggered dreams? Or are they still serene like death? I think you should start with my memories, so many to choose from you can't possibly paint them all, lest the layers grow so deep that the color slides from me dripping forgotten onto the floor. Perhaps start with the bliss of running through a New England park, pulling a kite, its fluttering tail flying up into the crisp fall breeze, the critch-critch sound of leaves beneath my feet. Perhaps start with the melancholy of bully's fear that started in sixth grade and lingered relentless until my scrawny frame sprouted six feet tall in high school. Perhaps start with the sound of music from my parents practicing while I lie beneath the Steinway floating on waves of notes as father's fingers race the keys while mother's oboe pierces the chords. Or perhaps start with the near silence of when I escape the frenetic digital pulse and head onto a trail, stepping in rhythm until hours later, I lie back, eyes closed, to let the ear, my ears explore the forest depths. I hope you choose to paint me with my eyes wide open so I can see your expression as you apply the final stroke. And when you are done, and the paint is drying, its pungent odor slowly fading and imperceptible until the last molecule of sense escapes. And when you walk away, your brushes cleaned and neatly packed, your tubes of paint capped and stored, will you remember me? Will you remember each brush stroke and shade of oil? Will you be relieved to finish me, to escape this dreary task? Or will you wait until the palette runs dry so we can share this moment a little longer.